The Ministry of Education in Tunisia has decided to integrate sexual health education into the curriculum because of increasing sexual harassment, particularly in educational institutions. But some authorities say that the decision needs further study and consultation. President of the Education Training and Scientific Research Network called for an in-depth dialogue with all stakeholders, including Sharia, social scientists, and sexology specialists to study the proposal to integrate sexual health education into the curriculum for over 2 million pupils. There are currently a number of difficulties hindering the implementation of this decision, including the length of the curricula and the time spent in school. There are more important reforms than integrating sex education into educational curricula. Specialists also stress the need to examine this issue within the Committee of Youth, Cultural Affairs and Scientific Research in Parliament. The Ministry should have consulted the civil society before imposing this project. We are willing to work with UNESCO or any international organization on such initiatives, but we insist on adapting the program to our Tunisian customs and traditions. The special envoy of the ministry stressed that sexual health education is a constitutional right, just like education for citizenship, the environment and food. A large number of youths go through the period of childhood and reach adulthood without having the minimum information about their bodies and health, which hinders their physical, psychological, emotional and social development. The Ministry of Education insisted on the importance of reinforcing teachers' training in the psychological, social, cultural, legal and ethical fields related to sexual health in addition to involving parents in the education of their children in sexual health. In recent years, 100 cases of suspected sexual harassment against students and pupils had been recorded, in addition to the issuance of 23 decisions of permanent dismissal of the teachers involved in these cases, as well as 20 provisional dismissals. Aden Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.